This video is sponsored by GG Esports. GG Esports is a site and app that allow you to check stats and predict competitive League of Legends matches. You can compete against friends for fun, or you can try and climb the ladder to win various prizes. A link to register will be in the description down below. Myself and some other YouTubers are going to be competing in a fun little YouTube All-Star series where Red Mercy, Professor Akali, and I are going to be crushing Pansar Dragon, Solo Renekton Only, and Jeremy Gaming Curios. Follow along for weekly rewards, as well as a chance to play along Side us in a three game best of series and win even more prizes. Stay tuned until the end of the video for more information and predictions for this week. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, we are back with another video where today I have a pretty unusual video for you guys. Today, I have a fun pocket pick jungler that I want to share with you. This is a dude that's never played by anybody on any server. He's insanely good. He deals a pretty ridiculous amount of damage, and he's also pretty tanky. He has a really quick jungle clear speed. And, and you guys know by the thumbnail of the video is Trundle. Now, I will be honest, I did first find this pick through Heisman, another YouTuber which I will put a link to his video talking about Trundle in the description down below. But yeah, I still have a lot of things to say about him because Trundle is really a very interesting case study. Currently, nobody plays him jungle. He didn't have any stats for jungle. He was just listed as a top laner on OPGG until a couple of patches ago. And even now, you can play seven games of him and change up the secondary builds on OPGG. I mean, he is just so underplayed in the jungle. Now, you would think that's for a pretty good reason, right? There's a lot of great junglers out there between recent releases, new releases, reworks, and all sorts of different things that have, a, lo a lot of things that have been happening to junglers over the years. There are plenty of better options to Trundle out there, but Trundle does have a lot of positives without too many negatives. He actually has pretty ridiculous clear. He has very good ganks. He has a very healthy clear. He, he has a lot of staples that just make him a, a pretty solid jungler in my eyes. Now, I am a top laner, so I'm mostly playing ju jungle when I'm just auto-filled or stuck on my secondary, but... I still think this this guy has a lot of potential here, and that's what we're talking about today. But let's go ahead and get into the meat of all this and start off by talking about what is it that makes Trundle so good. And the first thing I'm going to say is that he is a very easy jungler. As someone that mains another role and only really plays jungle when I'm stuck on my secondary or auto filled, that's something that's obviously kind of important to me. I loved playing Warwick back before he got reworked, and even now after his rework, because Warwick is another example of a very safe jungler. He stays healthy throughout the jungle, but you know, Warwick. Warwick didn't really have the best clear time, and the only thing that pre-reworked Warwick had was his big ultimate that was pretty good for ganking. Well, I gotta say, Trundle has all of that old stuff that previously easy junglers have had, and a lot more as well. Right now, I don't know how much of this is like teammates helping me with the first buff, but oftentimes I find myself finishing my first jungle clear and heading to gank at 225, which I was taught by LS that you need to ward by like 230 because that's the fastest a jungler can clear their jungle. Maybe jungling has gotten even easier over the years or something, or maybe junglers are just clearing camps faster, but I mean, th this kind of shows that at the very least, Trundle can hang with the best of them and have very quick clear speed. And another thing you got to notice about these clears is that I'm insanely healthy. Because of all the healing that Trundle gets from his passive, he's basically able to never fall below 50% health throughout most of his clear time, and he's able to heal up quite a bit even if he's low from a gank or something coming back to his jungle, allowing him to farm even more so. And this is all insanely useful, not just to people that are kind of stuck and need an easy time jungling, but it's also pretty useful to actual junglers as well. I mean, think about how nice it is being able to 1v1 someone that comes and invades you because you have huge amounts of health that they didn't expect. Another thing that's pretty important for a jungler to have is really good ganks, right? You you can play someone like a Master Yi or Shivana that doesn't really want to gank as much and only farm the jungle, but especially in the current meta, being able to gank effectively is a very important quality, and Trundle might have one of the best, if not the best, single ability for setting up ganks in his pillar. Pillar of Filth or Pillar of Ice, whatever it's called now, is this gigantic pillar that will knock up anyone in a small AoE around its initial cast point and then create this massive terrain that slows anyone in a small radius around it. This is in insanely useful if you're able to properly use it against a top laner in particular, or really just anyone that doesn't have a movement ability or their flash to get away. It can be great for interrupting CC abilities and, and helping out your teammate if, if you're coming to a gank and your teammate's already getting engaged upon, but really, this is an ability that can basically guarantee getting kills on ganks if you're in, a, in the right sort of situation and you use it properly. And the interesting thing is, you know, this is not an ultimate. This, this is something that has the ganking power 
of an old Warwick ultimate or a Sejuani ultimate, and it's on like a 20 second cooldown as your E. Here's a list of champions, Warwick, Jax, Rek'Sai, Jarvan, Kane, and Trundle. That list represents the number of junglers out there that have AoE hard CC or really good chase lockdown CC on one of their basic abilities, and Trundle is one of them with his pillar. I mean, that's really good company to keep. I believe the knockup from Trundle's pillar is a lot shorter than the knockup from something like Jarvan's flag and drag, but having an AoE hard CC knockup and also getting the perma slow of the pillar and the ability to create terrain in the first place is an insanely good ganking tool and it really is one of the best options you have out there for basic abilities that you can use to gank in league one of the things that i personally like a lot about trundle myself being a top laner is his split push potential trundle actually has some of the best 1v1 potential in game and some of the best split push potential as well like obviously he's great at 1v1ing junglers if he invades or if someone tries to invade against him but you can take that 1v1 potential into the late game and really split push hard not only because with press the attack and your Q and everything, you can really basically 1v1 anyone in the game, just needing to make sure your ultimate is up if you have to go up against someone that's kind of tanky. But you also get really great tower clear because your Q works on towers as of a couple patches ago. And that's actually another thing that I forgot to mention, is that Trundle, he, he's able to shred tanks really easily, which is really nice considering a lot of the annoying tanks in League of Legends are tanks that get to be played in the jungle. Whereas if you have a tank top lane like Maokai, you can have a skilled top laner abuse that and, and try and get a snowballing lead on them in the early game but tank jungles can just farm up kind of a lot more safely but even if you're going up against a zac jungle or ramus jungle or whatever as a trundle you can just use your ultimate on them and then that basically just makes all their resistances go away you reduce 40 percent not just reduce you steal i need to remind you you steal 40 percent of your opponent's armor and magic resistance over time but the thing that's so interesting about trundle is that nobody cares about any of this currently trundle has the the third lowest pick rate uh, in jungle for any jungler out there. There are 38 junglers and Trundle is sitting at rank 36, only ahead of jungle Twitch and jungle Echo, which I didn't even realize was a thing. 0.68% play rate. He is so easy to get. He's so insanely easy to get and you can play him in basically any game that you get stuck on jungle if you have jungle as your secondary or if you get autofilled. Or, I mean, hell, if you're a jungle main, you can just play him every game. Now, there is one thing here that I am neglecting to mention and that is I have not actually had the best win rates with Trundle as of lately this is my OPGG. All right, all right, I know. I have a 0% win rate over the past four games. But come on, I'm actually just getting awful teams. Look at that KDA, dude. I am going off in all of these games. I really genuinely do not know what it is that's causing me to lose some of these matches. But whatever it is, I think it's just more about me not really being the best jungler. Not that Trundle isn't a good jungle champion. Maybe he's not actually the best pick if you don't know that much about jungle because there are obviously still downsides to picking someone that is a weaker non-meta champion. As much as I'm hyping Trundle up in this video, I do have to acknowledge that he does have weaknesses. If you go the Cinder Hulk build, then you're not as tanky as other tanks and you don't deal much damage. Whereas if you do go the Blood Razor build, which is my personal favorite build, Blood Razor into Triforce, then you deal a lot of damage, but you are very, very squishy at certain points in the game, at least if you get collapsed upon. But still, he's a really good champion, okay? Trust me on this. Don't look at this win rate real junglers please take this champion and use him well because he is actually a seriously good jungler right now i promise i i i'm i'm like 99.9% .9 sure quickly before we go we are back again with this week's predictions for the prediction game on gg esports where we are actually doing pretty well we are at 10 million coins we've doubled up from what we started at however we could be a lot higher because we got absolutely crushed last week I couldn't believe the stupid chicken team beat Khan. But that means that, we, you know, we can only do better this week. Uh, you know, we, we only have up to go. We can't possibly lose anymore, right? And this week, I'm going to just go all in on Africa. Africa versus SKT. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should go SKT. SKT is doing kind of well lately, but they've also been trashed this year. How about this? We'll bet. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm, I'm so nervous right now. We'll bet that Africa wins the series with a huge bet, but we'll also bet that SKT wins game number two. 
Because I, I doubt that they won't win a single game in this series. All right, there we go. Hopefully, hopefully we're actually right for one. Also, don't forget there's another RP giveaway this week over on the GG Esports Facebook page. I will link this in the description down below, uh, which you can also see the stats of, of how things went for the first week. We're actually doing pretty well. You know, we're, we're, we're at least doing better than pants. That, that should be pretty easy, though. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's video. I will see you all tomorrow. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.